How's it going everyone? Welcome back to yet another weekly warehouse update. This week's actually a pretty exciting one because for the first time in what feels like a very long time, we have a stock Discraft restock. So um, I'm gonna highlight a few of the molds that are on the site right now, but more is being added as we speak and even more is coming next week. So pretty much a full Discraft restock. If there's something you're looking for that I don't highlight right here, it's probably gonna be hitting the site over the next week. But a lot of the big ones, um, are up right now. We'll start in the top left here. We got the Brody Roach. Um, this is this year's obviously the Putter Blend Swirl. This one's almost got some like jawbreaker esque ness to it. Um, Brody Roach is always a good time. We also got some Athenas back in stock. I think the only other Athenas we've had, we've had some Big Z, like limited edition ones, and then the first run Athenas. I don't know if we've had stock Athenas yet, but that's what these are. So it's just your typical stock. ESP, Athena, some even with the new PM foil. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Um, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, we also, one of the most in-demand discs, to be completely honest with you, from Discraft. It's one of my all-time favorite discs from Discraft, the Passion. This disc is an incredible eight speed. Um, one of my most thrown fairway drivers in my bag. Insane amount of control, hyzer flips, and we've got them in a bunch of different uh, swirl and color options here. We've had a hard time keeping these on the shelf, so if you're looking for a passion, you might want to act kind of quick. We also got a restock on Luna's. Um, I was going to say Robbie C's favorite putter, but I've gotten word that, that might not be true anymore. I don't know if that's come out, but Robbie, how dare you? Uh, then we got the Big Z Luna, one of the farthest flying putters on the market. Tons of glide in these things. Um, they'll just go forever. So if you're looking for a really long but controlled approach shot, check out the Luna and the Big Z Luna. If you're not looking for that, check out this next disc, the Stock Zone OS is back. These might as well be crystal, um, just absolute beef. These are just the stock Z ones. If you're not looking for a stock one, we do still have some of the foundation stamp top, Brody Smith uh, Tour Series bottom ESP ones on the site as well as the same thing goes for the AB Venoms. We've got some of those still on the site as well. Not many left, but the Z Zone OS variety of colors is Duke Blue one's pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Um, I absolutely love my Zone OS. I've had one in my bag since it came out and it's not going anywhere. Stock Zones, we also just got a restock of Z Zones. ESP, Jawbreaker, Putter Line, and TI are being added. Um, I don't know if they're going to be on the site quite yet, but they're coming. ESP Flex, that is. Um, but the stock Z zones are on the site now as well. But if you're uh, more like me, and this is what you're looking for, the 2023 Get Freaky. This one actually is a blacked out one with that sick color shift foil. It's almost like smoky in the background. If you want this exact one, it's a black, blue, hollow, 173.74 on the site. Um, but tons of different color options. This is the, I think only the second restock of the 2023 Get Freakies we've gotten this year. And the first ones went really, really quick. So you're gonna wanna act fast to get your hands on this. This craft always seems to fly off the shelf and uh, flies well in people's bags too. But if you're looking for some Get Freakies, we just had those hit the site. And then last but not least are the ones I wanna highlight. Again, there's a lot more hitting the site, but last I wanna highlight here is the stock Venom. I already highlighted that AB Foundation Venom, but if you just wanna stock one, uh, here it is, 12503, sorry, 13503. Feels a little more like a 12 speed, doesn't feel too uncomfortable in the hand. Um, this one's actually got like some glimmer in it. But if you're looking for that nice overstable distance driver, check out the Venom. And we just got a bunch of stock ESP ones on the site. And like I said, you could always pick up the foundation stamp top, AB bottom ones as well. All right, another exciting thing that's been happening this week is a full Clash restock, but I wanna highlight two molds that actually just released today. Brand new molds. One of these is actually in my bag, the vanilla. It looks like all the vanillas are white, which is funny. Um, but this is the exact color stamp combo I put in my bag. I absolutely love this disc for hyzer flips, getting really good distance with it. It's a low profile, really comfortable forehand and backhand for me. Um, this replaced the curl in my bag. So the curl was in my bag. It was a little bit squirrely. This seemed to be, to me, a little bit more consistently understable. So I could really control it with the amount of hyzer I put on it, get different amount of pop up and turns out of it. And um, I've been really enjoying it. So we did a clash disc only round. We filmed it uh, earlier this week, I believe. Um, 
It just came out yesterday if you haven't watched it and the vanilla was one of the discs I fell in love with during it and then I've been throwing it all week long and I think it was the disc I was kind of looking for in this slot. So the vanilla is an absolutely incredible distance driver from them um, and then they also just dropped the fudge. This is the prototype fudge. It looks like we have it in this should be, I forget what their plastic's called. I think this is their steady plastic and then they also dropped it in their softy plastic. I think that's the only two they dropped it in. No, they also dropped it in their hardy plastic. So hardy's their typical like baseline putter blend. Um, the fudge is a beaded putter, almost PA3-esque rim but it's not flat. So, so the PA3 is kind of known to have that concaveness. This has more of like a dome shoulder and then flat across the top. It doesn't have that concaveness. What that provides is a really consistent overstable flight. So really good hand feel. This is the one I was putting with in the um, clash only round was the softy fudge and I was having some good success with it. Fell apart a little later, but that wasn't due to the fudge. Um, that was due to me. Um, but in this premium one, if you're looking for a good, consistent, overstable driving putter that has a lot of glide, this is the plastic you're looking at for. Um, you can also get it in one of the baselines. It's gonna start off as that and kind of beat in to be a really high, good hydro flip machine. But this uh, Steady, the prototype Steady fudge is gonna be the one you want. You'll be able to throw this on Annie and get it to flatten, pop, probably even come back, throw it flat. It's gonna get some good hyzers and on hyzer it's gonna just stay true. Really good very comfortable feeling overstable approach putter. Speaking of overstability, we have some very sick Evan Smith Tour Series Sunny Mints. These are all iced out, just like completely see-through. Um, and the best one-two punch I think you can get is you can either go mint as your most overstable and go down to a softy or hardy mint, or my personal favorite is you go mint as your like neutral one and then you step up to the Cupcake Curtis peppermint the peppermint's a new mold from them these just hit the site as well a newer mold from them that it's not we're not talking zone zone os stable but like both of them are a step down so this is like a step above a zone but we're not going to zone os level the mint's a step below the zone but we're not going to like a jawbreaker zone or bt hard harp level so it's a really unique one-two approach disc combo on the market. If you're only gonna try one of the two and you're looking for a consistent overstable approach, I would go with the Peppermint. Um, it's honestly almost feels a little faster than a zone. Maybe that's not true, but it almost feels a little bit more midi than a zone does. A zone has a little bit of a putter aspect to it, um, but really comfortable forehand, really comfortable backhand very overstable but has enough glide that it's still really usably overstable it's not going to be like your justice your zone os which those have their own purposes that's what's in my bag um, but those are almost like uselessly overstable this has a lot of control still in it so the peppermint the mint and then of course the rest of the um clash disc lineup the cookie i was highlighting on uh, social media earlier the james proctor cookie we just got these in in the sunny plastic really good overstable like seven speed the berry i was throwing all over the place absolutely loving this disc really good neutral mid we can get some good uh pop up and a little bit of turn out of the butter we threw in our first clash disc only round nice beadless comfortable ton of glide um honestly this is like clash discs luna so if you're looking for a Luna, but you want it kind of in a different plastic, I'm not gonna say that's exactly what this is, but it'll give you a similar feel and could give you similar results. We also have it, I believe, in their hardy plastic back here, which is more of their baseline putter blend. Um, the Pepper's a really good overstable disc. The popcorn, we got a nice putter there as well. The soda, if you haven't checked out Clash Disc, you're really missing out. They've got some fantastic molds and we just got pretty much a full restock of them in a bunch of different plastics on the site. So now's the best time to try it out. All right, if you missed it a few weeks ago now, I think it was like two weeks ago or so, we had a full Innova restock. That's still on the site. Um, so if you're looking for any Innova molds, there's a chance that we still have them um, in stock. A lot of ones that we actually hadn't even had before. But we got three new, um, new to us Innova drops, some restocks up here. First off, the restock, the Halo Juggernaut's back. If you're looking for a, this is actually Joel Freeman Tour Series version. The first ones we had was not the Joel Freeman Tour Series, but if you're looking for a distance driver version of a tilt, essentially, this is it. This is the Juggernaut. We did a review on it. It is incredibly overstable. It's actually, it was so overstable that I took it out of my bag. So I was like, to be honest with you, I don't have a need for this disc, but a lot of you probably will because a lot of you have tilts in your bag. I don't really have a need for your tilt. Um, that's what this juggernaut is. Incredibly overstable. You will not have to worry about a wind, wind 
you will have to worry about wind because you're gonna be getting them with the juggernaut in your bag. But you will not have to worry about wind anywhere out there on the course with the juggernaut. Um, the also right here we have the Halo Roadrunner, Juliana Corver Tour Series. These are almost like Shimmer Star. Esque. I don't think that that's a real thing. I know Shimmer Star is a real thing, but I don't think Shimmer Star Halo is a real thing. But if it is, that's what this is. Um, that's definitely what this is. Incredible looking. I've always been a uh, simp for Shimmer, Shimmer Star everything. Um, so these Roadrunners came out looking incredible. Nice silver middles with the different colored rims. Very electric. And then I don't actually know. If you've been a Foundation fan for long enough, you've probably heard me cry about this disc in some way, shape, or form, which was back in the day. I had this 2014 Paul Macbeth World Champion stamped Color Glow Thunderbird, and it was my all-time favorite disc. And someone on the disc golf team, I won't mention his name, but it rhymes with Brent Prudich. Ah, dang it. He took it, not intentionally, he found it in the field, texted me like, yo, I have your Halo or your uh, Color Glow Thunderbird, I'll get it back to you. And then he ended up dropping out of college, moving back home, and I never got it back. Not really his fault. He got out of disc golf, I think. So he's got it. Brent, if you're watching this, I would really love to have it back. But it's okay. I forgive you because they brought back the Color Glow Thunderbird. This time, it's a Henna Blomroos Tour Series disc. Um, you already know one of these is already in my bag. Uh, the ones I had previously basically started off nice, consistent, overstable, really good feel. Um, the feel is what I fell in love with the most because I mean it's one of the reasons you love a Sexton Firebird, right? Same plastic. Um, absolutely love the feel of these and then once you beat them in they get to this gorgeous hyzer flip to dead straight disc. I've never been able to find one that flew like that Color Glow Thunderbird did back in the day. I'm hoping this will be it. So mine was pink. I put a pink one in the bag but we got pink, blue, white, orange, all kinds of them. If you're a Thunderbird thrower, a Thunderbird fan, you're gonna want to pick one of these up. Color Glow Thunderbirds are the real deal and so I'm very very excited to have this back in my possession but Brent if you got the original one I would still like it back. Thank you. All right we also have something fun from Discmania this week. Lots of new stuff coming. Um, we got some lore stamped bunch of different molds. These, this right here is Metal Flake MD3s with this lore, I don't even know, like it's almost like a sword on it. Um, lore obviously is known for their dyes, but then you have the lore stamp here. Very cool. We also got some P2s. I don't know exactly what flex this is. Don't know if it tells me on here, but feels like, I think it's flex two. Um, I just, as I was saying it, Brad held up a two, so I nailed it. That's how well I know my disc mania. Um, so Flex 2 P2s with a little lore stamp. This next one's actually in my bag, kicked out my Firebird um, because I've been willing to try ever so long. The FD3, C-Line FD3 with the lore stamp on them. These FD3s feel really good, stiff rim, flat top. Um, I was throwing it the other day, nice, consistently overstable. I'm not gonna say that it's as overstable as a Firebird yet because I need to play a little bit more with it, but I know that was one of the draws to the old FD3s was it was like a Firebird, but just like not, more controllable, I guess you could say. Um, but with this flat top, stiff rim, I'm gonna assume that this is full-fledged Firebird. But if you haven't checked out an FD3, here's your chance. I don't think the stock ones have dropped yet. And then last but not least, I believe this is a Paradigm. Yep, we got some lore stamped Paradigms here. Let me grab another color for you. So, not a super, not a ton of these. Pretty limited selection, but really cool on four different molds. We also just have um, a bunch of other really cool Discmania on the site as well, just stock Discmania. So if you're a Discmania fan, rejoice. All right, and we're gonna wrap it up where we all began on the drop shelf, but we're not talking about the sick disc mania or disc craft, I mean like these incredible Zone OS's with the foundation top, Brody Smith bottom, still available. Instead, we're talking about our first ever custom stamped lobsters. So if you haven't ever thrown a lobster, you don't know what it is, you can head over to our Instagram and see me throw one over there. You can also see All Business Brad throw one over there. Incredible understable mid-range, really good hyzer flip to slight turn, flat to turnover, big anhyzer shot, tailwind mid-range shots, power down dead straight shots, beginners looking for a neutral mid. This is your great selection. Um, really comfortable hand feel, pretty shallow but plenty of room under here. It's just a lot of times these understable mids can get really deep. You don't have to worry about that. Feels really comfortable. And you can see the rim profile there. It's got that almost meteor-esque top and then a slightly more aggressive bottom, which by the way, we got a new shipment of meteors in. I don't know if, I don't think they're on the site yet. They're going on the site next week. 
Um, I think they retooled the Meteor. The Meteor, on the underside of the Meteor feels a little more aggressive. It feels a little flippier. So these might be actually closer to the new Meteors. I don't know if they actually retooled them. It was just, I picked up a Meteor and I was like, that's not what I remember Meteor feeling like. And that's what I'm basing it all on. Um, but we got foundation stamp lobsters, sublime lobsters. We also, if you're picking up a Get Freaky Zone, like we had mentioned, the 2023 Get Freaky Zones, then you might as well, while you're at it, pick up a Get Freaky Sports Sack. Keep your hands dry here. These sold out really quick last time. It's been a while since we got them back in stock, but they are here, they're back. And something new that we've never had in stock before, it, to go right alongside it, is a Get Freaky Towel. Nice little clip to go on your bag right here as well. Um, and boom, or a spot for a clip to go on your bag, sorry. And match up with your Sports Sacks, match up with your Get Freaky Zone and just get freaky all over the course. There we have it, that's what's new in the warehouse this week. We'll see you again next week.